This week on KCAT, Sean Neptune will be showing off the homecoming themes, and Reagan Williams will be kicking off our new segment, Walkout Challenges. Gabe Daniel will throw us some information about the sports that went down this week. And lastly, on Dropping Dimes, Caleb Perkins and Trey Abasolo will be seeing if they know their Wildcat history. I'm Chayne Fonsel. And I'm Emma Seville. And, and KCAT, KCAT News, News starts right now. This week is homecoming, so we have a spirit week. Sean Neptune will be showing off some of the people's outfits that correspond with each day's theme. This week was homecoming, which meant a new spirit theme every day. Dressing up wasn't just for spirit, though. It was also for MVC points. Monday's theme was mix and match. Freshmen took the lead with 55 points, and sophomores finished in last with 25. Tuesday was beach day, but due to technical difficulties, no MVC points were rewarded for the day. Wednesday was pajama day. Freshmen continued to stay ahead with 75 points, and sophomores remained in last place with 40 points. Thursday was cowboy slash cowgirl day, and the last day MVC points were rewarded. It ended with freshmen taking first with 90 points, seniors with 80, juniors with 55, and sophomores took last, ending with 45 points. To end homecoming week tonight is the football game against Coffeeville. Following the football game is the homecoming dance that is $3 to get in and starts directly after the game and will run till 11 o'clock. We hope to see you there. Sean Neptune, KCAT News. Reagan Williams will be starting a new segment called Wildcat Challenges, where she will be getting students to do the challenge of the week. This week's challenge is the Whisper Challenge. There's a purple mushroom in my backyard. So much Dreaming stuff. about tacos. So many Dreaming tacos. tacos. Streaming tacos. tacos. Eating tacos. Somebody punch my mother. There's a, there's a purple <laughs> mushroom in my backyard. Strip it Dreaming out. tacos. <laughs> There's a purple, There's a purple mushroom, mushroom in my backyard. What's up? Screaming tacos. <laughs> There's a purple mushroom in my backyard screaming tacos. To give them to people with blue eyes. People you ask. <gasps> Chuck. Chucking blue eyes. Chuck them at people you ask. Chuck them at hate. people with blue eyes. Would like if you lemons, try to chuck them at people you hate. What city? Why? Why did it? The zombie. The dummy. The dummy. zombie. Why didn't the dummy go, go to, to school. school? Why didn't the dummy go to school? Chopping. 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 Why did you some rotten hood? Rotten hand. Rotten Rumbling. Rumbling. I can't. <laughs> he felt a little. He had rotten teeth. Teeth. Rotten teeth. He felt rotten. Why did this happen go to school? Because he felt rotten. <laughs> Gabe's Game Recap, Gabe Daniel will be kicking out details from all the sports that happened this past week. Thanks, Emma. The girls golf team was in action on September 20th. Overall, Mulvane placed 6 as a team. Maddie Ewing shot a 57, Taylor Ingram shot a 63, Isabella Laraga shot a 65, Shire Herman shot a 66, and Brantley Allen shot a 79. Then on September 24th, they had a meet in Andale. Taylor Ingram shot a 122 and Shire Herman shot a 123. And lastly, they had a meet in Pretty Prairie on the 25th. 
Mulvane plays six again with Taylor Ingram shooting a 57, Shara Herman shooting a 57, Maddie Ewing shooting a 60, Isabella Laraga shooting a 69, and Brantley Allen shooting a 74. The cross country team also had a meet in Goddard on the 20th. On the boys' side, Ryan Roderick plays 21st, John Thorson plays 24th, and Kyle Jones in 28th place. Then on the girls' side, Anna Moon medaled in 4th, and Caitlin Frieden medaled in 10th. The freshman volleyball team hosted Andale, Rose Hill, and Circle on September 20th. The Cats fell to Circle and Andale in two sets, then they overcame Rose Hill in two sets. Then on September 22nd, the varsity volleyball team had a tournament in Douglas. The Cats, however, fell to Blue Stem Garden Plain in two sets to zero. Then they fell to El Dorado two sets to one. Then they were able to defeat Remington two sets to one. Then on September 25th, they traveled to El Dorado to play El Dorado and Collegiate. Varsity lost a close one to El Dorado two sets to one. Then they rallied back to defeat Collegiate two sets to one. Then the boys soccer team traveled to Goddard on September 20th. The JV boys overcame the Lions 4-1, then Varsity fell in a very hard-fought battle 1-0. Then on September 25th, they traveled to Bueller. JV fell to the Crusaders 5-0, then Varsity fell 10-0. The Varsity football team was in action on September 21st in Bueller. The Cats overcame the Crusaders with Tab Creekmore having a record-breaking performance. Creekmore had five passing touchdowns, which tied the school record. Then he broke the school's record for the longest touchdown with a pass to Drew Ellis for 91 yards. Cole Diffenbaugh and Jacob Walker scored the other touchdowns in the win. Creekmore feels like it's a huge accomplishment to break all these records. And he also believes that they're going to have a successful rest of the season. Uh, I was very energetic. Um, it means a lot to me, but I definitely couldn't have done it without my teammates and coaches. I'm very excited to see how the rest of the season goes with... Uh, our team coming together as a team and becoming united as a whole. I'm excited to see what we can do. Tonight, the Cats host Coffeyville for their homecoming game. Kickoff's at 7 p.m. That's it for this week's edition of Gabe's Game Recap. Gabe Daniel, KCAT News. On Dropping Dimes, they will be introducing our special guest, Caleb Perkins, with Trey Abasolo, and they will be asking people from high school if they know their old school facts about Mulvane. Welcome back to another edition of Dropping Dimes. I'm Trey I'm Abisolo. Caleb Perkins. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm Caleb Perkins, and welcome to Celebrity Edition. Today, we'll be testing the students on Wildcat history. And to test them on their current teachers when they were students here at no. MHS. Too. It's fine. Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> this week on Jumping Dimes, we're doing Wildcat history, okay? Teachers in the school that were here when they were students and what they earned and did when they were here, okay? So the first question is... Who has the most kills in volleyball and is a current teacher right now? Who sets the record? Bans it? Yeah, bans it's correct. Teacher here has the most kills for volleyball here at Mulvane High School. Most kills? In volleyball. You kill people in volleyball? Wow. I don't know. All right, pick a teacher. That woman. No. <laughs> oh. It's bans it. It's bans it. <laughs> Who's bans it? You ever see people that want to be picked for KCAT? Caleb Hurd. Caleb Hurd wants to be in KCAT. Cross country, it's a thing. Oh, God. Okay. No so, two brothers in this district ran cross country. <laughs> <laughs> what are their names? Josh and Nick. Good job. Anyone wants to be on Dropping Dimes? Dropping Dimes! I'm Dropping Dimes' biggest fan! Cross country's a thing, right? So, there's two brothers in this district that ran cross country. Yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, whoa. They tied in the 5K. Hold on. They tied in the 5K in cross country. What were their names? Hanson Brothers. <laughs> What's their names? I don't know. Hold on, Fred. Hold on, Fred. Can you phone I'm, I'm phoning Elijah. Okay, he, he's going for the lifeline. It's going for the lifeline. Who is it? Who is it? Matthew. Who is it? Is it Josh and Nick Hanson? Yes, it is. You, you win. I won. All right. 1995, one middle school teacher won league in football. Who was it? Sweet. No, not sweet. I don't know, Swainy. <laughs> nope, not Kraft. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's not Mike. Yeah, it's Rhodes. In 1995, one football coach who's at the middle school won league football in 1995. Shoot, at the middle school right now? Yeah. Oh, no, he's not there anymore. Swainy? 
No, not Swaney. Who? You know who? Okay, it's a middle school coach. Bikeman? Bikeman's not correct. What? I have no idea, then. I don't know. Dustin Rhodes. 1995, one teacher won league football that's at the middle school now. Who is it? He's a current football teacher, or football coach for the Tim middle Tim Bikeman. School. Not Tim Bikeman. Oh. I'm sorry. It was Dustin Rhodes. Students seem to know their teachers very well. Great job to the teachers when they're here, students, and all the accomplishments they made in fall sports. Caleb, it's about time you go. Yeah, dropping dimes is harder than it seems. But next week, I'll be doing Caleb's Kitchen in Kirshen's room, so stay tuned for that. Good job this week, guys. Next week, Caleb's Kitchen will be starting up. Today is homecoming, so come to the football stadium for the homecoming football game and festivities. Don't forget to join us at the homecoming dance right after the football game. That's it for this week's episode. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching KCAT. Thanks for watching KCAT. Thanks for watching KCAT. Thanks for watching KCAT. Like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite part was. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching KCAT. Thanks for watching KCAT. You're welcome. Welcome back to Celebrity Edition. That's the wrong <laughs> line.